Okay, so today we're going to have a look at a little bit of um, rigging and skinning in um, 3ds Max. Okay, so you're, I'm going to give you a file with a character in it. And I'm just before I start going through the process of generating the pipette, etc., I'm just going to talk you through what's going on here. So in the setup here, in the scene that you've got, um, the if you just check your unit setup, make sure that it's centimeters for display and one unit to um, one centi one unit set centimeters in the system setup as well. That means that the character is correctly um, scaled for uh, Unreal. Should you wish to port it into another application like Unreal. Um, and this box over here, this thing over here that we have, this is quite simply a, um, um, that's just a helper that I generate to um, give me a figure reference. That's 1.85 meters high, not actually 1.58, it is 1.88, well there you go, um, close enough, uh, 1.88 meters high. Um, you know, and then you can determine whether a character needs to be big or smaller than an average uh, European height. Okay, so I'll just go over to my um, layer display over here, and I'm just going to put that into a layer of its own. Let's create a new layer, having selected them, and I'll just call it, he says, just click on there, and I'll just call it, Fig ref. Okay, so I can turn the figure reference on and off as I need to, but when you first get it, you'll have to basically, you'll uh, maybe I will save that for you, but the figure reference is there and I'll just freeze it. Or potentially I can just hide it. Okay, so now we've just got the character, and my character is called Johnny D after famous. Um, newscaster Mr. Johnny Diamond which is just the best name for a newscaster and hey over to Johnny Diamond um so Johnny D is if you look carefully he's positioned in the middle of the world space so he's at the origin zero 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 he's standing right in the middle so any kind of orientation or rotation I do everything's nice and conveniently positioned if you click on him right click and go to properties You'll also see that the visibility has been set to 0.4, and we later on we can change that. But for the time being, that means that's good for us because we can now see the bones and the biped figure through the mesh. Now, there's two elements here: there's the body, and then there's the head. And they're for easy rigging and skinning. They're separated at this point. Uh, the head has two little eyes attached to it. Same practice has happened here. Object properties, 0.4 visibility. You know, it can be five if you want, or whatever you choose. But just in, you know, knock the visibility back so that you can actually see the biped um, as you're constructing it. Okay. So I, in the in the in the file that you get, you won't have a biped already structured because I want you to go through the process of structuring your own biped uh, but I already have one structured and if I just unfreeze it you'll see that it's just starting to peek through okay so this will be our starting point um, you will have to create your own biped give it the correct amount of fingers give it one toe as we have been doing in previous um, tutorials and Loosely just put the shoulders at the same height as Johnny D, or JD as we'll call him from here on in. So shoulders the same height as JD, centre it to the centre of the object, and then we're going to go forward and start configuring the biped before we do the skinning. Okay. So um, once you've created your biped, um, I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just going to hide that figure reference. Ert. Right click and hide, 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 hide selection. That didn't quite do it. Hide selection, there we go. Um, with the first thing to do is freeze Johnny Diamond. So JD's frozen. Um, and now I'm going to 
uh, use the move, scale and rotate transforms to adjust the biped just so it fits inside the mesh. Just going to move him up a little tiny bit, about there, just get back in, give that a little scale, looks about right, let's look at it from the left view, looks like he needs to come forward. So into track selection and just move the body horizontally. Looks about right. Back to front view. Let's just left road do a little rotation out there. And let's just work on the length of those legs in relationship to the knee. So front view, left view. This needs to come back a little bit. Maybe that needs to come back a little bit first, and that needs to come forward a little tiny bit. And let's lift that up a little tiny bit. I want to scale that. I think I want to shrink that a little tiny bit. Oh, that's about that. Looks about right. Da -da -da. Toe possibly needs just a little bit of scaling. Looks about right. Back to the front view. And of course I've been working on this leg, not that leg, which is not what I intended. And that's because the for me the um, short key to the right view isn't doesn't function it actually changes the um, select and squash so I'll just have to work on the left hand view and rotate that fellow out a little bit like so and then what I can do is I can select all that and just like we've been doing previously we can create a posture so put, select posture create the collection copy and then paste opposite and we should just pass that over okay so let's do a little bit of work up here now so I think track selection horizontal uh, nope sorry didn't mean to pull that down just take that bone and let's do a bit of scaling on that scale that bone down a wee bit that way and I think down a wee bit like so that feels better let's go into perspective view let's have a little look at this in the round and I think scaling okay so you get the idea right rather than watch me do the whole thing bit by bit I'll pause and then when I've got it in position we'll come back but you get the idea so you just like you would have last week you can make adjustments on one side and copy and paste them onto the other so let's just get this into a nice position and I will actually just before I get out of here I'll just show you that I am going to scale the head considerably so again let's have a little look at that and the other thing we're going to do as well is we're going to move these verte um, the vertebrae bones we're just going to give those a little wobble a little wobble like so so I think forward a little bit back a little bit back let's see does that 
follow the curvature of the body maybe that bottom one needs to go a little bit further forward we can accentuate this and then just roll everything back a little bit and then maybe take that one and just bring it forward again just looking at the curvature of that body looks good okay so i'll go through and tweak the size scale position of the bones and then when we're ready i'll rejoin you we'll do a quick review of it and then we'll begin the skinning process Okay, so roughly we are looking at our, our biped and our mesh looking kind of like this. A little bit of bend in the spine. All the bones are within the mesh. There's occasionally a little bit of protrusion, but we can deal with that when it comes to the skinning. The fingers are often a painful little part just to get the scaling right. Um, you just kind of, you know, just like you've done in the past, just kind of scale things up. Just give it a little squeak in the scale. And, and then when you're ready, just like you've done in the past, you might want to just copy those. And in your copy and paste selection, you know, you've got your um, copy the posture and paste opposite and then go and check that that's worked over on the other side of the the model make sure everything's kind of aligned that needs just a little tiny rotation just to pull that back in line and where wherever you think things need to just be lifted might be better just to lift the hand there and align those fingers like so okay so one or two alignments still need doing just here and there but we can go back and we can tweak these as well as we're going along. And up we go, and up we go, and up we go. Okay, pretty good. Just take this fella here, he says. Just select that, Let's give that a little squeak. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, that'll do. Elbow position looks about right possibly a little bit long possibly a little bit long er, but you gotta do if you do that then you've gotta give that a little squeeze to get it back into position so that's not bad over there how about over here looks decent I think we're ready to go so I think we can save that the head possibly possibly we might just let's have a look at that in the perspective Make sure that the head is right about that way. And looks about good. Yep, yeah, looks okay. Everything looks decent. And I'll just do a quick save at that point. So we don't lose our work. And then we can look at the skinning side of things. In fact, what I might do is save this and then go into a skin, separate skinning video. So we'll call this the rigging, Johnny Diamond rigging, and then we'll have Johnny Diamond skinning. Okay.